Okay, this video is going to show you how to migrate or transfer your iTunes library from a Mac computer to a PC. Now the reason to do this, uh, the way I'm going to show you, is that it's going to preserve your ratings and your playlists. It's also going to preserve the ac actual amount of plays that you've had per song. That's not that important to me, but the ratings and the playlists, I put a lot of time into that, so I want to make sure I can preserve it when I swap it over. Now the things that you're going to need for this are obviously a Mac computer and a PC computer. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to need some sort of external storage, whether it be a flash drive or an external hard drive. And uh, what's going to decide this is the size of your iTunes library. I have a large iTunes library. It's not going to fit on a flash drive. I'm going to need an external hard drive, so I have one of those attached already. Now, what's very important about this is that you got to make sure that your hard drive uh, is formatted in FAT32 format. This is a format that can be recognized by both Mac and PC computers. If you use any other format, whether it be NTFS or the Mac format, it's not going to work because the computers can't recognize that. It's got to be FAT32. Okay, so let me show you the process here, which is pretty simple. What you want to do is you want to bring up iTunes. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to go to File up here, okay, and you want to go down to Library, all right, and from there you want to go to Export Library. Now it's going to want to export the library to a library.xml file, and in my case I'm going to save it to the desktop. It makes it easier that way. So I'm going to do that. And if you look on the desktop now, minimize iTunes here, it should be there, right there, library.xml file. That's going to t contain all the information as far as playlists and uh, ratings and, of course, like I said, the, the amount of plays. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to transfer all of your, uh, your music to your hard disk. So let me show you how to do that. You want to go to where you keep your music. Usually it's going to be in your music file. And you see iTunes here. I also have songs from Amazon MP3. So I'm going to transfer both of those over to my, my hard drive, which in this case is called PC Vault. Okay. So I have a Mac file here. And what I want to do here is drag and drop these two files, iTunes and Amazon MP3, into my folder where my music is, over on my hard disk. So I'm going to do that. This is going to take quite a while because there's uh, 10,000 items to be moved. So I'm going to join you back when all of this is done. Okay, all of my music transferred over. And the next step is to close this out. And the only other thing that you need is this library.xml file that you created earlier. So what you need to do is put that onto the hard drive or the flash drive, whatever you're using, and make sure you transfer that over as well. So you copy that. There we go. And the next step is to bring the hard drive over to the PC. So let's do that now. All right, now we're here on the PC. And I have the hard drive connected. And what I want to do now is transfer all the music I put onto the hard drive. I want to put that onto the PC's hard drive. And what I want to do is I want to transfer the library.xml document that we created and put that on there as well, because that's going to keep intact all my ratings and, and whatnot. So we're going to first, I have it in front of me right here first, I'm going to drag the library document into the documents folder on my PC. Actually, I'm going to put it into my documents under the documents folder. So it's just a simple drag and drop. And copying over, 
Just make sure it's there. There it is. And the next thing I want to do is transfer all the music over. So in this case, I want to transfer Amazon MP3 and iTunes folders from what I transferred earlier onto the hard drive. And I want to transfer that over to the PC's drive. So I'm going to again go to my libraries file here on my PC hard drive and go down to music. And then I have a my music folder and a public music folder. I'm going to stick this in the my music folder. So I'm going to select Amazon MP3 and iTunes folders. You might not have the Amazon MP3, but I do most of my purchases through Amazon. And if they don't have it, then I use iTunes as a, as a second backup. But Amazon pretty much has everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag these two files over to the My Music File folder in the Music folder in the Libraries area on the PC. I'm going to drag that and drop it in there. And I've got quite a bit of music on here, so it's going to take some time to transfer it over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that do what it's going to do. And we're going to join the video back up when everything's uploaded onto the PC and we're ready to put the, uh, get everything organized on iTunes. All right. Okay, so we downloaded all the music to the PC and we also downloaded the library.xml file here. So now you, what you want to do is bring up iTunes. Now, it's a fresh install of iTunes on this PC. I have no music in it. And what I want to do, the music is on the computer, but it's not in iTunes yet. So what I want to do is I want to go up to File, and then down to Library. And from there, what you want to do is go down to Import Playlist. Now, if you remember, we put the library.xml file into the Documents folder. So, into the My Documents folder in the Documents folder in the Libraries. So we're going to click on that and then hit Open. Now it's importing the library.xml file. Okay. Okay, now you'll notice that my once empty iTunes is now filled with my music. I have all my playlists over here on the left-hand side, which is good because I put a lot of time making those, and there's quite a few of them. And then over here I have all of my music, and all of my ratings, and all of my plays. The plays isn't that, aren't that important, uh, but the, the ratings are very important to me at least, because I put a lot of time into that. So that is how you transfer your iTunes library from, from a Mac to a PC. And it's good to know that it's fairly easy to do because it gives you a little more mobility on where you want to have your music or if you want to have it in a lot of places. So that's pretty much it for this video right now. Up top, it's just determining, determining the gapless playback information. So uh, that's not that important for, for this video purposes. I'll just let it run and do that. But uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, rate, favorite, comment. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.